I'm showing off all my Harry Potter Legos, my castle, some of the Quidditch stuff, um, all my characters, um, the trees, like the Whomping Willow and all the details on them. Um, so I think I'm going to start with the characters. Okay, so I have Hermione. She has a, like, I was about to say wooden. Of course, it's wooden. Her wand's like a white brown. She has the Gryffindor robes on, black pants, a happy face, and, and a worried or, like, scared face. So I have three of this version. So I'm going to push them out of the way. And I have another Hermione from the set I built last night. She's wearing a pink dress this time. She has a happy face and an angry face. Now I'll do Dumbledore. I have two of him. He has gray hair, red robes with some like hanging brown parts. He has a face with glasses on and a face with no glasses. This Albus Dumbledore has purple on. He has white with it and more hanging brown. He has a hat with a string coming off of it. And he has the glasses and no glasses face as well. Next, I have one of my blind bag figures. He has a Gryffindor flag. He's wearing Gryffindor, a Gryffindor scarf. And he has a happy face and a blank face. Next, I have one of my favorite characters. He's another blind bag character, Neville Longbottom. He's wearing gray like a like grayish brown robes he has a gryffindor tie and he has earmuffs on he comes with a mandrake and a brown pot it has a leaf on top and a face he has a happy face and like a scared closed eyes face Next we have Ron Weasley. I have several of him right now. This one, he has a lantern. He has a gray checkered shirt on, blue pants, and he has a happy face and a scared face. Next, I have Ron in his Gryffindor robes with black pants. He has the same two faces. Now I have him with a red shirt and a brown gray sweater. Now he's wearing a brown um brown suit and he has a sort of kind of smile and a frown. Next I have Professor Quirrell. He's wearing black and he has his little hat, his purple hat, which drapes down onto his chest. He has this face and he has his the evil side of his face. If you can see that. Now I'll show Voldemort. He's wearing green. He has a float piece for the bottom. He's white. He has a white wand and he just has one face. 
a like smile kind of. I don't know how to describe it. Next I have Harry in his Gryffindor robes. He has a smile and a scared face. Next, I have Quidditch Harry. He has his red Gryffindor Quidditch shirt on. He has a broomstick, a red cape. He has the golden snitch in his hand. He has the same two faces and white pants. Next, I have Harry in like another suit, just like the last Ron. I think it's the last one. He has a smile and an angry face. Next, I have Harry. He's wearing a blue hoodie. He has a candle. He has the same two faces as some of the others, the happy one and the scared one. Now, Harry. Is, now, I have Harry. He's wearing a blue shirt, gray pants. He has the same two faces, and he has a checkered shirt with, like, a gray shirt underneath. Next, I have, I can't remember his first name, but something Wood. He has white pants on, and he has the same Quidditch uniform that Harry has. He has a smile, and that's it. Next, I have two Snapes. He's wearing, like, a, a black suit, and he has a purple shirt underneath. I have two of him. Now I have. Cannot remember his name, but he's like. He cleans up. Filch, I think. Argus Filch. He's. He has like. His head is bald. He has a bit of hair on the back. He's wearing a gray suit and he has a yellow shirt underneath. And he has a yellow lantern. He has this mean looking face and an angry face. Next, I have Draco Malfoy. He has Slytherin robes on. Basically, the same as Harry and Ron's and Hermione's, except it's green instead of red. He has a mean face. And an angry face. He has yellow hair. And now I have Cedric Diggory. He's wearing another suit. He has a bow tie on. And he has black pants. A white shirt underneath. He has an angry face. And a like sort of smile but sort of not. Like a straight face. Um, I do not remember who this is. He has Gryffindor robes on. He has spiky hair. He has a happy face and a sad face. Voldemort comes with a snake, so it's just a green snake with two black eyes. Forgot to show that earlier, so here it is. Next, I have Hagrid. He has, he's bigger than a normal figure. Um, let me find one. Here's a normal figure compared to him. We'll show him later. He has a brown coat on, a pink umbrella for a wand. He has a, like a darker brown shirt underneath, a belt, and he's really hairy. He has one face. And it's this, but the beard covers it up and makes it look a lot different. Next, we have Madame Matsume. She's wearing white and pink with polka dots. So the polka dots are kind of like different shapes. She has this frown, a sort of like a frown, and a happy face. I guess that's sort of happy, I don't really know. Next, we have Fleur de Lacquer. She has a gray dress on. Um, she has this scared 
face and this face. I don't know how to describe this one. Now we have Luna Love Good. She has her Quibbler magazine. She has her glasses on. She has a purple purse at her side or like a bag. She has blue pants and she has a face without the glasses. Next we have Professor McGonagall. She has a witch's hat. She has green all over and she has bits of lighter green with blue on it. She has a black shirt underneath, or like black robes underneath. She has a happy face and an angry face. Next, we have Nearly Headless Nick. He has gray on because he is a ghost. He's like got gray and silver on. He's completely white. He has a happy face and like a sad face. Next, I have no idea who this is. She has Hufflepuff robes on, just like Malfoy's and all the others, except it's yellow. She has a happy face. And a sad face. Next, we have two Quidditch Slytherin players. This one is just like Harry and something wood, except he has green on. He has just this one face, and his broom has a stud shooter on the end, so when you shoot it, it flies off. Now we have a Slytherin beater. He has a happy face and a surprised face. He has a black broom and he has a beater's club. And finally, our last character, Victor Crumb. He has black pants, he has red all over with some sort of wool or like cloth hanging on him. He has a smile and like an angry sort of sad face. Again, don't know how to describe it. Now we have the snake. It's huge, kind of. It's black and gray. Its mouth opens and closes. It has two fangs. And it has yellow eyes. Now we have Aragog the spider. He has eight legs. They all move. And his, the back part of him moves up and down. Then he has four eyes. His teeth on the top move. The teeth on the bottom don't really move, they just shake. Now we have the tree. I had an extra head wig, so I put it on top. It's got a big spider web with a brown spider on it. On the top it has another brown spider, a black spider, and it has a black spider hanging from a web on it. There's a big leaf with another brown spider hanging on it. There's a mushroom, some more plants, and a spider web at the bottom that actually fires. Now we have the Quidditch Stadium. First we have this one. In the book, Snape's sitting on it and then it catches on fire. So you put them in like this. And then you just twist this and the flames go. 
That's the Slytherin one. Leave that aside. Now we have the Hufflepuff one. It has a little box that opens and closes. It has a speaker. It has a Slytherin and a Gryffindor picture. And in the back, you can take the Ravenclaw and the Hufflepuff ones out. Then there's three gold with a there's the three gold with a trophy in, in front of it. Here's the Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. They just fell out, so I'll show you them. And I'll put, I think his first name is Oliver, I believe, or something like that. Oliver Wood, maybe, I'm not sure. And you, you're supposed to put him there. And there's a little knob on the back, and when you move it from side to side, he flies from side to side. The golds come off easily. They're gold, and they've got a long stone, or maybe it's metal post. Then there's a chest with all the Quidditch balls in it. Then we come over here. There's a stud shooter, which you put the balls in and shoot them in the air. Then we have the Ravenclaw one, and it's not really very interesting. It just has a banner hanging from it. Let's move that aside. Now we have the Gryffindor one. Doesn't have much to it, but it has a door that flaps. Now, I'm gonna show you the car. The flying car from the second book. I know it's not supposed to be like this, but I like putting filch in the car for some reason. So let's put them in. The roof pops off easily, so you have easy access to the inside of the car. And you can just place it back on. It's blue and white. The trunk opens. It says 79902, no, TD. Inside are two um, suitcases. And that's it. It's got some lights on the same license plate on the back. And we'll slide that in there. Next, we have the Whomping Willow. You move a little knob right here, and it turns. In the book, the car gets stuck in there. So you can grab the car. It's been breaking a lot lately. Pieces have been falling off, so I'll just leave it in there. And now the car is in there. There's a little hole down here for a character to go in, but there's no bottom. So um, I'll take our wand out of Ron's hand. And when you pop them in, they do fall right through. So, that's the Mump and Willow. Carved in it with filch. And I'll put this lantern here. Next, we have an ice table. It's like, this is from the Clock Tower set. It has ice all over it. I'm gonna grab some of the things and bring them over here so I can show you. Okay. We have another ice table. It has more frozen drinks on it. It's also from the clock tower set. And this is another thing from the clock tower set. It's a tree, it's a Christmas tree. It has a star on top, it's got snow all down it, and it's got some ornaments. Next, we have the boat. I stuck an extra wand on it to make it look nicer. I stuck it right here. It's got a yellow, like a clear headpiece attached to this pole for a, for a lantern. And there's a lantern up on the front as well. 
Now I'll bring over the castle. So I'm going to show it in parts. So by the rest. This is the um, dining hall, the great hall. There is a nice little porch right here. And there's a place for the boat to come and land. And people can get up in it. I don't know if you can see this. So, I'll lower it down a little. There, and then there's two doors. You can push them open from the inside. Inside, there's chairs for all the teachers. There's some cups up there. There's banners for each of the houses. They're double-sided. And I have them facing each house. There's the floating candles right here. There's ice cream on one table. Some coffee or some other drink there, tea maybe. There's a fireplace in the back. A, trip, a chicken leg and more ice cream. There are two statues either side of the door. They look like this. They're really tiny. I don't know if you can see them. I'm trying to find a good spot. Okay, let's place that back. Inside, at the top, there's two parts that open and close. So you can easily access it. Here's the mirror of Eris. You can switch out stuff. Here's Harry in the middle with his parents. There's Dumbledore holding socks. Ron having all the Quidditch stuff. Like, he's the champion of Quidditch. And he's got a um, trophy with him and a broom. And he's got Quidditch gear on. Then there's Professor Quirrell. And he's holding a red gem. I can't remember what, it, what exactly it is. And then inside, we have Fox the Phoenix. He's a little phoenix. He has a, he has his hands. He has a beak. He has a little feather coming off his head. He has a long tail. Um, now I'll stick his little stand back on and we'll place him back in here. And we can put the mirror of Eris right here. I'll leave it on Harry and his family. Then down one layer, we have the sorting hat. what just came out but we have a sword in that a spider in a chest full of rubies and other stuff it's really hard to open so I'm not gonna worry about it um Right here we have a small set. It's the it's supposed to be in the train station. It has a book. It has a suit, a briefcase or suitcase, whatever you want to call it. And it has a little cauldron, so it's one of those little things you push. It comes with Harry and it comes with Hedwig in a cage. I have Hedwig. I have one of my Hedwigs hanging right here. You can see that. So that goes down here from a completely different set, not the Great Hall. Then down here we have, I'm not sure what it exactly is supposed to be, but I like using it as Snape's classroom. So it's got a lot of potions. Then you go down and there's some stairs that fold out. Like that. So we'll move this part to the side, that's that. And now I'm going to show the set that comes with the Wampin' Willow and the car. 
So, let me move all this out of the way. Now we have this bit. It's not too big. Um, I filmed myself building and talking about all of these. The, um, just the clock tower in this one. This one comes with the Whomping Willow in the car, if you didn't hear a second ago. The car slides right in a little place at the bottom. Right through the middle. Oh no, I just ripped something off the wall. Right here, we have Hedwig and a mouse. This is Ron's mouse. Um, supposed to go with him. But I have it up here for company. For Hedwig. Then down here we have some potions. And we have two pictures of people. I have no idea who. Now we have two beds. One for Harry, one for Ron. A candle and the Gryffindor sign. Down at the bottom we have more potions. And we have a broom and a barrel. Here's where the car goes, here's the big platform. And then right here we have a table. It has a lamp, a piece of paper, a feather for a pen, I'm guessing, and a newspaper. Inside we have more potions, a candle, a bottle of something, more pictures, and a barrel with more weapons or like tools, not weapons. Like axes and stuff. And now on to the final bit. So I'm gonna start here. There's a handle right here. You turn it. Of course that's what handles do. I think. Or like levers kind of. And when you go to there, it's turning. The clock is turning and I don't know if it's going the right way. So we have a big clock right here and then we have a smaller one up here. So up at the top we have two beds, a lamp, and a flag on each side. Each side is kind of like a copy. Then here's the handle again. Inside we have some potions, a table, a lamp, a quill or like a pin, like a feather pin, um, a magnifying glass it looks like, a large window, a book, and a chair, and a couple of tables. So that's in the second layer. Down at the bottom we have a chest with nothing in it and a fountain. Then right here, we have Fox the Phoenix printed on as a sticker. Then we have the sorting hat. We have a chair, a library with some pictures on them of more people. They're all sleeping. We have what I believe is the pin size where you pull your thoughts out, put it in there, and you can see them anytime. We have more books. A candle and like a little slope. Down at the bottom we have like a pool for a bath and a picture of a mermaid. And then one of the coolest parts. So I'll grab two random mini figures. Okay, I have Madame Maxime and Hagrid. I'm going to put them on, and then you turn this little thing, you turn it from any of the circles, and they spin in circles around in one big circle. That is all my Harry Potter sets. I will quickly reassemble the, um, the castle. Shouldn't take long, and... 
I will see you guys in a second. Let's get this thing built together back again. Bye guys, see you next video.